Welcome to Start Biz Easy. My name is Egusa Kestai Minige, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to start blogging and earn money. How to start blogging and earn money, or probably just put it as how to become a blogger and start making money from blogging. Um, first of all, you want to know that blogging is actually a platform whereby you create content, whether in writing, videos, or photos, you're engaging your, with your audience through comments or social media, and in return, you make money through several means like affiliate marketing, AdSense, or even sponsor content, and you make money from it. So the question now is how do I become a blogger? Or rather, the purpose of actually making this video is how to become a blogger. There are several steps on becoming a blogger. Number one is to choose your niche. You have to choose your niche. Very, very important. There are several niches out there that you can choose from. And um, as you can see, we, we gave a very um breakdown on these niches that have a very high volume for you to pick out for you to pick from um you can see the niche of how to this how to basically focuses on all the industry whether business um healthcare whatever that has to do with how to it has a volume of 150 million plus global search volume so it's it's not left for you to do a research on which industry you are going to be writing on this how to about um, so that you get a share from this amazing traffic. We also have the DIY, which is do it yourself. We also have the tips and tricks. We also have recipe and so many more here that have a very high volume for you to consider and also to do a research um, when writing your when you want to start your blogging. And first of all, you need to know that niche is very very important when it comes to blogging. You can't be writing on a general topic. You just have to focus on a particular topic that you're going to be writing on. Except maybe you want to be a news blogger. If you want to be a news blogger, it can't a news blogger can't even be one person. It has to be a company of about three to five persons to start that business or rather that blogging business because it has to do with daily updates because it's news blogging for goodness sake. You can't be posting once in a week. So if you want to be, become a news blogger, it means you're running a business or a company. We have an article on um, on our website on startbizeasy.com. You can check it out. That has to do with how to start a blogging business. So you can check that out to get knowledge on how you can become um, start a blogging business. But if you're going to be a blogger, just a single blogger, it is recommended that you choose one of these niches or do research on the niche that you want to work on and focus on that particular niche. And make sure your content are green content. When I mean green content, I mean there are niches that even if the content is two years old, it still has a good search volume. All right, number two is to set up your blog. Very, very important. You want to set up your blog, especially if you are going to be buying a domain and hosting it. You want to set up your blog. Um, we at Start Biz Easy, we use Hostinger. And if I'm to advise anybody or any new starter in the blogging business or blogging industry entirely, I, I advise that you use um, you use um, Hostinger as your hosting platform. So if you want to access the Hostinger, you can just check um, the description below for a referral link. That's our referral link to use to purchase or to host your domain and also buy a domain from them too. It's very, very cheap. And when you, one thing about them is that when you buy, when you buy an hosting plan from them, it comes with a free domain unlike other hosting platforms that you have to buy them separate. So it comes with a free domain and that actually just helps you and saves you the cost of actually buying a domain. So I, I advise you to use Hostinger to host your platform. Very, very, very um, easy to use. Very, in, They have a very use, um, user interface, easy um, interface for users to use and their customer care service is up and running 247. Number three is to create compelling content. Very, very important. You want your content to not just be unique, but also to be compelling. You can have a unique content that is not compelling. Um, though unique content is a criteria for blogging to even rank or to get traffic, but it's also good that your con your content has both uniqueness and compelling. It has the ability to compel um, readers to read through your content. And you can only write a compelling content if your content is informative. And when you're writing your informative um, content, it should be straight to the point. Don't waste time telling stories before you now go to this point or start time to go, go straight to the point. It becomes tiring to read. When you want to write, when you're writing your article, just try to make sure it is easy to understand. Um, the English, the communication, everything is just basic or level eight students or whatever level you want to write it for. It's very, very um, easy way to read. Just make sure that you have your writing 
is we don't use grammars don't try to show that you are a linear a linear colleague or barista or whatever it is just make sure that your content is very easy to read um you also have um number four is to engage with your audience you definitely want to engage with your audience whether through comments um through your social media posts it is very very nice and also it's even a way to even boost your traffic because when the, your readers actually see that you're engaging with them answering their questions in the comment section it makes them want to come back and read more articles from you and also spend time in your blog which is actually actually a good ranking factor for you number five is to promote your blog very very important you want to promote your blog your, you can have a blog out there and no one knows about it and by promoting your blog i don't mean you should go and be spending heaven or heavily money to to heavy money rather to spend or to promote your blog you can just use a social media um profile use your social media content your social media accounts to promote your your blog you can use twitter you can use as x you can use facebook you can use instagram tiktok just use it to promote your blog out there um you can also use ads if you choose or if you have the capital to spend on using adsense or advertising or advertisement program whether you're using whether you're using the search agent uh, or you're promoting through um, social media ads whatever means that you want to use you can also use it to promote your blog number six is to stay informed and adapt very very important especially with blogging that comes with algorithm updates like twice in a year so please make sure you are always updated with the new algorithm updates for instance now the new algorithm or uh, updates favors more of semantic content uh, semantic content means those blogs that actually stick to the single niche uh, like i said in the beginning of this um, video that that's the first step of starting a blogging um or becoming a blogger that you must choose a single niche so it is very very important that you just focus on that particular niche for instance let's say you are you want to write about the the beauty industry you want to write generally about the beauty industry don't just go about writing about hair writing about um cream writing about spa soap or whatever thing that falls within a cosmetic industry focus on one first write a substantial article so if you're going to start with the air just focus on that particular niche or rather that sub niche within the um, industry the beauty industry and just write substantial articles concerning hair business or hair in general within that cosmetic niche so when you've written substantial article like 100 or 200 um, articles concerning that particular sub niche within your main niche then you can now move on to other um, sub niche that also falls within your niche like the cream and all that so you want to make sure that you send a good signal from your blog to the algorithm on search agent so that you can outrank, outrank so many Asian blogs out there that have a lot of backlink because these days though backlink still pays a lot when it comes to ranking um, semantic SEO has been able to help young or new um, blogs to actually penetrate into the ranking um, um, factor first page on Google or even on Bing to get traffic from those old blogs um, I think that's all the steps that you need to start um, blogging the next thing you also want to know is how bloggers make money there are several ways bloggers make money um, one of the ways is advertising uh, rather they are through advertising uh, advertisements they make money through advertising by sharing ads on their website they also make money through affiliate marketing if you don't really know much about affiliate marketing there is a link in the description below for you to click and watch our video where we talked about how you can become an affiliate market uh, marketer they also make money through sponsored posts um, content digital products uh, membership sites freelance by providing freelancing services and also engaging in events and speaking engagement or, or rather organizing events that has to do with speaking um, engagement another way um, another question within the blogging um, becoming a blogger and how to make money is the requirement of becoming a blogger it is there are several requirements that you need before you can become a blogger number one is passion and interest if our blogging starts with passion if you don't have passion for it uh, you get tired along the way because at initially you will definitely not be making anything uh, probably maybe within time when you become popular when you get approved within the AdSense, um, AdSense program or whatever advertisement program that you want to apply for and your blog start getting traction from um, search engine and you start getting more traffic that's when you start making money but before then it takes passion and interest for you to survive those dry 
times. You also need writing skill, which is very, very important. You also need not just writing skill, but be able to convert that your writing skill into content creation. And that's why you need content creation skill. You also need technical skill in terms of designing your blog, layouts and all that. Yes, you might send your designing of your websites and all that to a professional a web developer to help you develop your website is also good but as a blogger it is necessary for you to also have a basic knowledge on how it works um so you also have you also need consistency and discipline which is a necessary skill in the blogging um, industry you also need seo knowledge and patience with persistence in fact blogging starts with passion and it ends with persistence if you are not persistent you will not be able to strike the good head within this industry um another question that is also still asked within this um content is can i start blog with no money yes you can start a blog with no money you can use um free platforms like blogger.com um, you can use wordpress.com you can also use medium.com um, to register a blog um within your name but um since you're starting with no money you can use that sub domain name whereby for instance our name is startbiz.easy uh, start this easy so if you want to start your own blog within these three um platform i just mentioned this free blogging platform that you can register on do you have to have their own name attached to your blogging domain name so it's going to be like start this easy dot wordpress.com or if you're going to be using blogger.com it's going to be start this easy dot blogspot.com so there must be that um additional um suffix name or i don't know what i should use suffix or just an additional name to your um, domain name to send a message out there that this domain is within um rather this blog domain is within our own domain and one amazing thing is that it's totally free so and it's also a good way for you to start blogging if you have no money or you really want just want to test the ground and see if it's something that you want to uh, spend time in doing so you can try one of these free um, platform like i said blogger.com wordpress.com and medium.com um, you can check that check check them out uh, we also have um, another question that I still normally ask within this um, topic is can I use AI to generate quality content of course you can use AI to generate quality content uh, matter of fact all the blogs content that has been that have been generated recently since the advanced updating of um, AI like ChatGPT and all that the advanced model not the old model that was answering you like a robot the advanced uh, advanced one recently that's 4.0 uh, from 3.5 upward that came out bloggers have been using it to write content and they've been doing well within the um search engine ranking and when you are using ai to write your content you have to be very very careful you don't just go there give ai the keyword to write on and just copy paste no you pick the article there you take ai to write on it then you can be picking them one after the other to take ai to explain okay explain this step for me once you explain it you just read through then pick what you want to pick take out what you want to take out that looks like robots in it or irrelevant message to what you're trying to pass through and use it to create your own content so yes you can use ai to create your content as a blogger and it will still rank because it will appear to be quality because it is actually quality another question that is also asked is blogging niche that generates more income there are several niches within the blog industry that actually generate more income than the all um, others among them is the finance and personal finance which is very very um highly is one of the top way of actually making money or, or rather one of the top niche that actually pays more you also have health and wellness you have um, technology and gadgets you have lifestyle and fashion you have food and cooking we also have business and entrepreneurship and also lastly we have the travel adventure this are just my own list of the niches that actually pays more so there are also there are also other niches out there that actually pays more you can just do your own research on it but these seven i just mentioned here in this video are very very profitable to start or rather profitable niche within the blogging industry all right another question i also may ask is what qualifies your blog for ads monetization what qualify your blogs for ad monetization there are several criteria that your blogs must meet before it can qualify for ads monetization among them is original content your blog must have original 
content and um, another um, criteria is sufficient content volume yeah you must have sufficient content volume for adsense for instance i think you must have a minimum of 40 article or 30 article before you can even be allowed to apply for their um, adsense program so you want to make sure that you have sufficient content volume um clear website ownership to let it be clear that you are the only owner or rather the main owner of the website you also need to have um, you need to be compliance with the advertising um, policy or the adsense policy if, if it's adsense that you're going to be using then be compliant to the adsense policy if it's going to be other advertising um, platform make sure you or website compliant comply with their policies you also need to have a professional website by professional website design it means that your user interface must be in touch people your readers or anybody that generally come to your website should be able to navigate navigate your website easily um, we also have a criteria like privacy policy no non prohibited content yeah very very important like adult content for instance you don't really get approved within the uh, advertising platform though there are other advertising platforms that accept adult content but the isp ones don't accept um, adult content uh, we also have top level domain Top level domain lies .com, .net, .org, uh, also a criteria. But um, I think a few years back, uh, this top level domain has become less of a criteria to use to accept to be accepted into the AdSense program. Um, we also have sufficient traffic, which is also a criteria, especially within uh, with some of these uh, um, advertising platforms. I'll tell you, you must have a minimum of ten thousand uh, monthly traffic before you can be approved in their. Um, in their advertising program so you want to make sure that you check the um, um, traffic demand of whatever advertising platform that you choose to um, in incorporate with or rather register your platform with make sure you check that um, their traffic demand before you apply otherwise you'll be wasting your time applying um, so that's all about um, how to start blogging and to earn money for blogging if you have any question contribution just leave them in the comment section below remember to like share and subscribe to our website oh, sorry to our youtube channel and also turn on the bell notification my name is Sirimez Egusa Kesta Egminige and until next time see you